Every ad executive dreams of a client like Nike, but the reality is clients are hard to get and tough to please. Every day, accounts are won and lost in the ad business. It's a tense game to play, even though it doesn't always look that way. Eight nothing. This is work? It looks like kindergarten for grown-ups. But this is the hottest, hippest ad agency in New York City. Residing over the madness are 27-year-old Richard Kirschenbaum and 30-year-old Jonathan Bond. Three years ago, they were working for big agencies and collaborating on the side. But nobody knew that we were doing the ads because we were going to lose our jobs if they found out. And one day, my creative director came in and showed me an ad that I did and said, why can't we do ads like this? And I looked at it and I said, that's my ad, I quit. Against the odds, they've already made a name for themselves. I make no excuses. They slipped Donna Rice and Joan Rivers into blue jeans. Little trap and politics in the selling shoes. I figured out we're pitching $50 million in business this month. Creative challenge doesn't motivate you. Maybe something else will. Money. The prospect of the $6 million Carvel ice cream account was sufficient motivation. Last January, the 56-year-old company was looking to update its marketing image. For years, founder Tom Carvel was the voice behind the product. Finest in the land. You can't buy better. When he sold the company, the new owners called in three of the biggest agencies in New York and Kirschenbaum and Bond to pitch for their business. Feel like a kid at Carvel, common childhood experience for kids and adults and white and blue collar, which is the two groups we want to appeal to both of those. Like a gunfight at high noon, the agencies shoot it out with their best creative ideas at their own expense. The winner gets the account. Carvel. A soft spot in everyone's heart. And then the brainstorming begins. The copy goes like this. The original frozen yogurt made only at family-owned, made daily caramel coming personal vomit patented process for 56 years. Ah, uh, utopia. It needs to be a little more competitive. We took the, uh, the fresh approach. We, we want you, we love you, we need you. That's what we want. <laughs> we only have about a week to go. Uh, we have enough good ideas here. I think if these ideas are worked out, then we have enough stuff to, to do a great presentation. The night before the big presentation, they're still inventing. You mean you make me do this and then you're not going to use it? Richard writes lyrics for a last minute jingle, and across town, his friend, songwriter Gerald Alters, composes the tune. Okay, what else do we have to do? Just to, yeah, just to cover John, the John wanted it half and half, half Carvel, half Utopia. He said, we'll never sell it without that. We're living, breathing, and eating Carvel right now. We're going to sleep Carvel tonight. Finally, the competition. The client takes the left side of the table. The agency's pitching are on the right. I want to go to Carvel. First up, gray advertising. Had a bad day? Carvel can help you put on a happy face. So, think about stopping at Carvel. Your whole family will love you for it. Carvel, why should kids have all the fun? Next, Ali and Gargano, the award-winning agency who created the Federal Express Fast Talking ad. And it starts out with a super that says, the fat boys rap. Ali and Gargano present over a dozen ideas for funny ads. I love a cone with chocolate sprinkles. Kirschenbaum and Bond are up third. You know in the old movies they used to have the bouncing ball? They used to go, we have a bouncing cone. <laughs> they show five different campaigns, saving the jingle for last. Kids of all ages. Wait. Wait. 
Finally, the New York office of the Hal Riney Agency of Bartles and James fame. This is something that this agency believes in totally. The emotional tug can be much stronger than all the product claims you can make. I think we will have a hard time deliberating in the next couple of days. The coin toss. The decision takes two days. The agencies await the phone call. Hello? Jonathan, how are you? Okay. Uh, our team have asked me to uh, convey to you, first of all, uh, what a wonderful job you guys have done. Uh, but also they want me to tell you that uh, it was a very close call. We uh, have uh, picked another agency. That is the unfortunate news. Uh, okay. So I just want to uh, call you first to let you know that. Okay. Thanks for calling. Okay, bye-bye. Well, there's always Baskin Robbins. That's true. <laughs> All right. I'm up with the bigger and better thing. All right. What can you do? All right. I have an announcement to make. Uh, I just heard that uh, Hal Riding Partners is the new agency for Carvel. And the fortunes of Kirschenbaum and Bond... A week later, they landed the $3 million New York Post newspaper account. Next, advertisers and agencies are out there now targeting us and our kids.